every day Boko Haram committed atrocities against our people, killing hundreds, taking them off to slavery, executing them, beheading them, and all that. And somebody is now saying it's, uh, they want to bring up a bill uh, to rehabilitate them. I think it is not right at all. I'm of the opinion that the Supreme Court was right in uh, coming down heavily on um, both Chief Afeba Walala and uh, Chief Zawali Alani Peko, senior advocates of Nigeria. Uh, the, the established law, everybody knows, is that the Supreme Court is the final court of the land. And the Supreme Court, like even any other court, cannot sit on appeal of, of its own case of his own judgment. Once the judgment has been given, you may appeal it. If you are not happy, except where there is clerical error, or where the court is being misled, that's a different thing. These are not applicable in the case, in the Baisa gubernatorial review that this uh, uh, gentleman came for. It, it, so it was wrong of them, it was preposterous. And we are talking about the Supreme Court here. Where would that? Everybody knows the principle that there must be an end to litigation. It's unfortunate, it's unnecessary, it's awkward, and it's strange. Repentant Boko Haram means that they should be, they want to set up an agency for them. I even read that uh, they want to give them foreign training. One, we have a situation where in this country, the rulers take the people for granted. Nigeria is at war. The war has not been concluded. It's a different thing if the war has been concluded and then these people who are maybe prisoners of war captured, uh, Nigeria wants to rehabilitate them into, into the system uh, because of terms and conditions of the war. I mean, after the civil war, uh, Gowan was saying um, no victor, no vanquished. And efforts was, was made, even though uh, not seriously and not very sincerely to uh, rehabilitate the part of the country said to be defeated, that is the eastern part of the country. But that war ended. You are still in the middle of the war. Every day Boko Haram committed atrocities against our people, killing hundreds, taking them off to slavery, executing them, beheading them and all that. And somebody is now saying it's, uh, they want to bring up a bill uh, to rehabilitate them. I think it is not right at all. These people are interested in setting up a caliphate, carve out a different country. And they are terrorists. Terrorists are different from me. These terrorists killing people horribly, whoever comes their way and taking them off to slavery and using them anyhow and killing them and yet a government that has not even defeated them is now saying set up an agency. I think it's really unfortunate and Nigeria should resist it. Wrong, 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 absolutely wrong. And again, it reflects uh, how we as a people, especially our elites, the governing class, the base things, including religion, Christianity is wrongly practiced, Islam is wrongly practiced, technology is brought in, I will tank out, tank out with it, not to improve it, but to debase it, drugs, debase it. democracy is a concept of <coughs> separate, separation of powers, so as to make it less horrible, less oppressive. So you have the, you have the executive, you have the legislature, and you have the judiciary. And in this inbuilt into this thing is what we call check and balances. So the strength of one is the weakness of the other. The weakness of the other is the strength of the other and balancing. Now, everybody knows that the judiciary uh, has a sort of immunity. The judges, when they're acting as judges, they have their immunity. Whatever a judge does in the course of his judicial function, you cannot punish that person for it. You cannot take him to court for giving a judgment. You you can appeal the judgment, and if the judge if it's found out that the judge has been by corrupt or biased, there are disciplinary procedure. Executive have immunity. The governor, deputy governor, uh, president, vice president will do something wrong. You cannot punish them while they are holding office. After they hold office, you cannot begin to sanction them. 
Everybody knows the limit of immunity of the legislature. It is whatever they say in the hallow chambers. In the hallow chambers, when they are doing their legislative duty, they are protected. You cannot punish them for that, for opinion. Within that chambers, there are regulations um, as administered by the speaker and all that. But now, they now want immunity to be, to be shielded against um, financial misconduct, just like the executive arm of a, a government. This is strange. This is strange. It is wrong. They are going to distort the arrangement of check and balances. It's, it's, it's rated poor, 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 very poor, dismal, uh, terrible, uh, shocking, abnormal. Uh, we've had between 1999 today, 2020, four presidents. Obasanjo, Yadra, Gulag Jonathan, with their false weaknesses. But the present one, neither the most considered opinion may mean well, but in neither his government behave as if they neither understand democracy or accept democracy. And once you do that, you cannot respect human right. You cannot, once you cannot respect the courts, you choose which others of court to obey and not to obey, and you give contradictory uh, directives. At one point, you are ordering police people to shoot um, anybody who wants to snatch uh, the uh, ballot box at sight. Now, again, they are now saying, if bodies are found, all these rustlers, they should not be tackled. It's wrong. Today, can anybody say that the, 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 uh, the standard of human rights in this country has gone higher than Buhari met it? The answer is no. It is a climate of fear. Even at the police level, the SARS, the police have become more murderous. Killing people, he executed people, he, the police gone berserk generally, especially against young people, especially against young people, you know? And uh, of course, a lot of atrocities we committed. We've had atrocities against the IPOP people, even against these uh, Zagzaki people. Except people are demonstrating violently, injuring other people. That's where you may use force to contain them.